Guys, happy April 11th. Uh, this is a series of daily videos that I'm doing, and I have to say, we from yesterday to today, there's been some big changes production-wise. I have tape now that's holding the camera. Um, I'm wearing a dress, a bridesmaid's dress. Uh, who says you can't wear a bridesmaid's dress more than once? Uh, it's my cousin Michelle's from New Jersey, and we had the wedding at the Brownstone where Carolyn Manzo the uh, host of, or one of the ladies of the Real Housewives of New Jersey owns. So it's all, oh, it's all very exciting. Uh, as you can tell, I have someone in the car with me, and uh, this is a new thing. I didn't know whether I was going to have guests or not, but I have a guest with me, uh, and her name is Jennifer Ackerman. She's here with us. Look at that. Hello. Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jennifer is... Uh, she's a musician, a model. She is uh, the younger sister of what were you gonna say? Swedish. Swedish. She's the younger sister. <laughs> very proud of that. So the Swedes are very, they're a very proud oh, God, race. Yeah. I, I feel like there's a Swedish takeover in Los Angeles right now. I think there is. There yeah. is. I'm really excited. Are you, you know, know? Uh, I'm very excited. You know, I could have slept with one of the uh, Swedes. Like, like he's like a top Swede right now. I don't want to say a name, Back but he's a. Magnus Ackerman. Well, that's her dad, and I, I will admit that when your dad stayed over, I did leave my bedroom door open. For him. I'm not gonna lie. He, I leave my bedroom open for this guy. For this guy? No, Jennifer, have more standards. Let's see. Yeah. Oh no, Jenny. Okay. You're you're much prettier than he is. Okay. Cute. <laughs> and he's riding a bike in Griffith Park. You don't. His personality that counts. He's selling drugs. Okay. Um. But yes, her, your dad did stay over and was sleeping in the living room, and I left my bedroom door and prayed that he cool. would come in. Yeah. He might have. He always sleeps alone because he snores so much. Oh. My mom and my dad can't sleep in the same bed because they snore so much. Oh. I mean, he snores so much. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. Your mom's lovely. My mom's lovely. <gasps> what? You just almost hit a frog. A frog? But you didn't. Well, what's he doing in the middle of the street? Anyway, um, the Swedes, yeah, I could have... It wasn't your dad, but it was he's he's on a top like one of the top TV shows right now, and I hmm. turned him down. I, I felt fat. Is that crazy? Oh, right? It's ridiculous. Just go, then go on a diet. It's like ridiculous. You I, mean the guy who you who was who me? Was I felt oh. fat, and I, I just felt like I don't know. I don't know what the Swedes are like in bed, but if he was like any kind of American, like American pumper, then I would have just felt like a big fatty. <laughs> You know? Well, the Swedish guys are usually very tall and skinny. He was, he was, he's Adonis like. He's yeah. like a, a, a Nordic god, this person. So you found that, this, this, have you found that they're like good in bed, the Swedes? I'm not really into Swedes. You know, I think you, 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 you know, you want the opposite of what you grew up with. Sure. And right. I grew up with Swedes, so I'm yeah. the opposite. Like, I'm dating a black guy from Texas. Hot. He is, I met him, and he's absolutely adorable. He's adorable. And you're so right. Like, I grew up in New Jersey. I would never date, like, uh, you know, a Guido date, guy. Um, what's like, his name? Situation guy? N oh, my. Please. He's, like, bug repellent to me. I did yeah. date an Italian guy, but he, and he, he, did, he threw a bottle at my head. But that's just how they say, we need to talk, you know? Okay. Um, well, guys, Jennifer's here. She, this is what's going on. We're driving in Beachwood Canyon, and Jen's got a big show tonight. Where is it, Jen? I do. It's at the House of Blues. The House of Blues. That's a big deal. I'm going to be there. Oh. Um, and, and it's with your band, Bellatech, right? This is my band, Bellatech, yeah. We've been together for about a year and a half. You, you guys and, are awesome. Uh, I've seen you once before. We've been working really, really hard. I think when you saw us, though, we played the Cat Club, and like, right. the sound check guy was the bartender. He was terrible. So, yeah. which means that he was wasted and didn't know what he was doing. Right. So, the drums were off, like, my microphone was off, and it was just really bad. But the House of Blues should be really good. I'm really, yeah. really excited, and we're working really hard. Great. So. And who are the other members of your band? It's um, guitarist Richard Brigham from um, England, who cool. I met, who and I, you know, him and I started the band about two years ago. And then, Sweden and Englishman. Jette kul, inte kul. Jette kul. That's Swedish. That's though. Swedish for it's cool and it's not cool. Um, gurdy, 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 gurdy. Anyway, 
Um, and who else? Who else? Uh, Jen Trani on the bass. Jen's amazing. I love her videos. And then we have a new drummer, uh, Joe Suarez. Joe Suarez. Joe Suarez. Ooh. Sexy, sexy. He, um, both him and Richard have, have been um, in a band with Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden. So they're very rock. Whoa, which is yeah. Fun. So they and rock it out. And tonight, you might like this. Oh. Or you might not. We have a special guest tonight, which is uh, two DJs, girls, that are called Luxury Kills cool. from England. Oh. And they're English as well. Super cute girls. They, they were just in Playboy, actually, announced as the hottest DJs right now. Really? So it's going to be a little uh, Hot. girl love making on a stage. Oh, wow. For once, we're actually more girls than guys, which is really exciting. That's cool. Well, the ladies are taking over in every facet. Sorry, dude. Sorry, two and a half men creator. He said that women are. <laughs> funnier there's something about a bad some dumb some dumb comment you know, I used to hate that show but now I actually like it only because Dustin Kutcher is in it and he's pretty sexy yeah he's pretty sexy uh, I don't love what the creator said so he can suck it what do you mean well, he said that women aren't the the badge oh. TV like too many women on TV like nobody says there's too many dumb guys on TV oh. you know we'll talk about there that is. later but um I'm gonna I'm I'll see you later tonight Yes. And did, you, did, you, did you give me this? What? What is it? Tickets. Hello. Tickets. Now, can we, like, is it sold out? Can we offer it? So, here's the deal. We yeah. have some tickets. Here's with the tickets, tickets it's uh, free entrance. Okay. And with the list, it's free entrance. And if you get, get caught to the door and say luxury kills, it's a free entrance. It's Whoa, like guys. Password. Luxury Kills. Yes. So at 11 o'clock we go on. 11 o'clock at the House of Blues. Luxury Kills. You go up to the door. You whisper that. You're in. You're in. So go see Jennifer Ackerman. Her sister is Malin Ackerman. Yes. Good friend of mine. She's going to be on the show next week. Did you know that? Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. I I'm can't just, wait to see that. She doesn't know that, but okay. I'm just going to pick her up for lunch. Like invite her to lunch and say, hey. Hey, uh, TV. No, I'm not even going to no, tell her. She won't, no, she won't notice. But, uh, Jen, you were my first guest. I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's been fun driving around the hills and talking about... Good driver. Sexy. Thank you, right? I'm very cautious. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I hope you feel safe. I do feel safe. Great. All right, you guys, tonight, House of Blues, 11 o'clock. If you're not going to be there, then what are you going to do? Are you going to sleep your whole life? Sleep when you're dead. <laughs>